Hi everyone, Stephen Lee here. Did you recently apply for an SBA Economic Injury Disaster Loan, also known as EIDL Loan Increase, and did not receive an automatic email response? If so, in this video, I'm gonna cover what you need to do right away in order to make sure that your loan increase application has gone through. So over the last few days, um, since last week, we knew that the SBA was now accepting uh, EIDL loan increase applications by email, right? And in my previous videos, and thank you for all of you who have submitted comments and questions related to this, because the automatic email did not go out for many people who did submit a loan application increase uh, last week or over the last few days. So. What I recommend, what I've seen actually as of this morning, because um, several of our clients have asked us to um, assist them in the loan application or request process. So we submitted those, um, I believe, April 8th of last week, and none of them received an automatic email response confirmation. But so what we did is this morning, I went back and I resubmitted those same emails. So basically I went into my email box, I went into the sent box, and then I basically adjusted the subject line, removed the, um, the forward or any type of information when you're doing an automatic reply. Um, so I adjusted the email and I resubmitted the application request. Make sure when you're resubmitting that the email address that you're sending to is that long email address listed in the email that you received for the invitation. That long email, once again, should not have any special characters, plus signs or anything before or after. It should read COVID EIDL increase requests Request uh, is plural, requests at sba.gov. So double check that email address and then make sure that in the subject line you only include EIDL increase request for the um, applicable um, SBA application number. And you'll find that application number on the top right corner of your, EI, your original EIDL closing document. It's gonna say EIDL um, application number and on the left side you'll see uh, SBA loan number on that same document so you're gonna put in the subject line the application number okay it's gonna be a uh, a long number so just put that in there and then once you submit that um, within a minute or two you should receive an automatic confirmation email saying that they received your loan increase request make sure you receive that if you don't receive it in a minute or two resubmit it until you receive that confirmation so make sure that you get that confirmation the confirmation will basically say that this email is to confirm that we have received your request for a loan increase for the COVID-19 EIDL program Okay. Um, they also mentioned that due to the high volume, um, give them a few weeks before you can receive a response for next steps. And they say, once again, do not send multiple requests, okay? Um, and you won't hear back right away. So once again, it's essential. If you did not receive a confirmation email for your loan increase request initially, go back into your email box, double check, make sure that the, um, the email address you're sending to is correct and then also adjust and include any information that they've, any and all information they've requested, right? Once again, that's gonna be the uh, subject line has to be a certain way. You have to include the application number again, the SBA loan number, you have to include the uh, business name, business address, phone number, um, owner name as well. Make sure you include all that information on the second attempt if you did not receive that automatic email response. All right, everyone, that's it. It was a pretty quick video. Uh, please leave in your questions and comments again um, if, you're, if you're incurring any other errors or issues, and hopefully the, um, the community below can help you uh, to resolve those issues. Until next time, I wish you all a wonderful day. Bye.